Hello, breakfast. Hello, start of diet. Day one. Let's answer a quick question from Kristen here. She says, oh, I want to participate. Advice for a female diet workout for weight loss. Keep uh, keeping in mind my blood sugar bottoms out often. I started trying to cut back at the beginning of the year, but I really need, whoopsie daisy, but I really need to take it more seriously. Well, that's actually pretty easy, and let me explain what you need to do. Okay, so this is actually a pretty simple one uh, for a weight loss. Let's see, keeping in mind your weight as well as your blood sugar. I would say lower yourself to a 1500 calorie diet, so count your calories so you uh, are eating or taking in about 1,500 calories a day. Uh, try to keep that uh, at a bit of a higher sugar diet intake, so a lot of natural sugars like apples or oranges or anything that has a lot of natural sugars to avoid your sugars bottom, bottoming, and out, uh, bottoming out, and just in case if they do happen to bottom out while you're on the diet, try to keep something around like an orange or an apple on you that you can uh, eat for natural sugars to avoid, uh, you know, going over too much by eating something like candy or that sort of thing, uh, and hopefully that should work. I don't know how severe your blood sugar problems are, but I believe that should be effective. As for the Workout looking at the picture and everything, and also I know who you are. Uh, given your weight, you won't be able to do a great deal of exercises because there's a risk of stress fracturing. Uh, so any exercise you can do while just sitting down would actually be uh, really beneficial. So if you can get like some kind of like, a, I think like an exercise bike might help a little bit. Uh, but if it causes any, like, knee problems or any kind of pain in the lower back or that sort of thing, you should probably stop. But if you can get any kind of exercises at all that you can do while sitting down would be the best until you can get to a lower weight where there's less uh, chance of your bones fracturing from stress. Uh, and, yeah, that's about, that's about it. Real quick, forgot to mention, another great exercise that you could do is swimming. Uh, because when, when you're swimming, it's ba you're practically weightless. So that's really good for cardio and building stamina. But there, is, there will be no risk of stress fracturing. So that will be uh, an amazing exercise for you to do uh, as often as you can do it while you're on your diet. This is the entirety of my lunch today. Yay! Okay guys, it's day two of, the, of uh, week one. Uh, some stuff that happened today, I just got back from work on my way back. Uh, I ended up getting a nosebleed randomly. As, I've said, as I said, I believe in the week zero. Uh, vlog. This diet is very extreme. It's experimental. I'm not really sure what it's going to do and how hard it's going to be on my body. I have a strong body, and so and I'm willing. I'm willing to put myself through this, but I don't really recommend that you guys follow along with this exact diet. It's very extreme. But if I can do this really extreme diet and make it through, I'm sure you guys can do whatever it is you need to do to get to where you want to be. So I've already answered Kristen's comment for the most part, so let's answer a different comment today. Today we're going to be answering Blitz Knight X comment. Uh, he says, for me, I have been focusing on push-ups because I'm kind of skinny, which means he wants to bulk up, which I'm going to be doing some bulking next week after the extreme diet uh, has, has been done. So week, week two, I will be doing bulking. Um, basically, Blitz, what you want to do is increase your caloric intake. Now, you want to bring down a lot of processed sugars and grease, but you want to have high protein, high carbohydrates, so a lot of meat and bread. You also want cheese and vegetables, and a lot of it. You want to have a very high caloric intake. You want to eat before and after exercises, and you want to alternate your days. And I'll put up a list on screen of uh, the exercises 
what you should do, and uh, you're going to alternate them. Uh, you should do arms and shoulders, chest and back, legs and abs, and alternate those three um, in that in that pattern, just sort of every other every day. You know, just sort of alternate them. You know, just go in that same pattern, just sort of repeat this, repeat the process over and over. So. Um, and, and just kind of stick with that and make sure that you're eating plenty, lots and lots, so that you can bulk up and get those muscles. And remember, uh, keep away from grease and heavy fats uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, um, and uh, okay, grease, heavy fats, and processed sugars so that you can get nice, clean muscle in there. Day three of week one. There's nothing really happened on day three. Yeah, well, I am kind of looking at these. I'm just looking at, uh, I can't eat food, but I can dang well look at food. This is my coping mechanism. Hold on, is this on manual? No, it's on auto. Why won't you focus? There you go, you son of a whore. All right, so I'm just looking at things like I can eat when I'm not on this stupid cut week. So I'm looking at, like, the Pub Witch. It's got this delicious, why won't you freaking focus, son of a whore! So I'm looking at this thing like the Pub Witch. It's just, you know, meat and veggies and cheese and bread. That's all the stuff I need to be eating. And I'm looking over here. Hey, get out of here, you. Get out of here, Obama. Nobody wants you. All right. What do we got here? Um. Oh, yeah. Also looking at, uh, looking at this son of a whore. Come on, focus, you prick. There we go. Also looking at sushi. Yummy roll. This, uh... Uh, West Virginia roll thing. This dang thing won't focus. It's got cream cheese and crab meat. Other stuff like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, this... This, this, this is pretty much all I'm doing on day three is looking at food that I can't actually eat. I've stuck to the diet, though. Two apples a day for the past three days. Makes me want to kill myself, probably. But you know what? I'm doing it anyway for you guys. I'm doing it for you! For you, you better be doing your diets too. Or whatever it is you need to do, because some of you need to bulk. But you better be following it like a mother effort, because I'm doing mine. I ain't giving you no reasons to cheat. Alright, day four of uh, week one. I'm actually feeling fine. I, I thought day four was going to be really hard. I was going to have a lot of hunger pains. Nope. I don't really feel anything except for cravings and thirst. A lot of thirst, actually, weirdly enough. Um, I thought today I'd talk about something that, um, how exactly do you stay on a diet of any kind, let alone one like this? So, the best way to sort of do a diet is to look at food as an addiction. And there are different ways to break an addiction similar to how you stay to a diet. So... Uh, the best way to try to break an addiction or to stay on a diet, either way, is to reward yourself for doing what you set out to do. For instance, my reward is if I manage to eat only the two apples every day, stay to my diet until the end of the week, Sunday morning, I get pancakes and jelly. That's my reward, and if I, uh, but I also have a punishment. You don't have to have a punishment. But, you know, if you can have one, sometimes it helps, too, to give you a little bit of that extra motivation. My punishment for not following my diet, if uh, I have, I've stuck to it faithfully, I have followed it exactly as I'm supposed to so far. But if I don't follow my diet, if I cheat at all, every single time that I cheat, I have to eat an apple for every single time that I cheated Sunday morning. But that's not going to happen, because one, I really don't want to do that, and two, I'm not going to cheat. Uh, you, um, you don't need necessarily a big reward, but you want to have small goals, like maybe a small weekly thing, you know, like, it's like, oh, once a week you do this or you do that, or, you know, whatever, if you stay true to your diet. Now, if you don't stay true to what you're supposed to be doing, then don't reward yourself. You don't get rewarded for bad behavior. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's basically all you really need to do to stay to a diet. Oh, one other thing is you should have a, uh, a main goal. Now, I'm personally, right now with my sort of uh, regimen right now, I'm just kind of doing it, and it's kind of experimental. The whole sort of goal is just sort of see what happens over the course of time, see if it's effective, see if it isn't effective. So, uh, But for you guys, you know, maybe your goal is to lose so many pounds in a month or two months or three months, make sure that your main uh, your main goal is reasonable and then have a reward set out for yourself, a larger one, 
for that main goal if you achieve it in the time that you uh, set out to achieve it. Day five, my mom ordered a pizza. I obviously can't have any, so all I can do is look at the pizza and hope and pray that one day I could eat a pizza, but right now I can't. So, you know, here we are, looking at a pizza, feeling bad for ourselves. Also, it's snowing outside. Well, not currently, but it was. It's kind of been on and off. I hate snow. Day six, nothing much happened. I'm really tired. It's like nine o'clock. I don't have any food in me. I'm very tired. I already said that. Day seven, I decided that my reward for completing the week would be a small lemonade and a pickled egg. I haven't eaten any other food today. I couldn't bear to eat a single more apple. So I gave myself a slightly earlier reward. That's fine. I like pickled eggs. I tried to find some in the store today. I went shopping. Oh, that won't focus. Come on, focus you. Focus on the egg. It doesn't want to focus on the egg. That's fine. I don't care. I decided to have this. I made this pickled egg myself. I couldn't get any at the store. That's fine. Almost done. I'm gonna. That's really tasty. I'm gonna go take my measurements in a little bit. And then I'll let you guys know what I got. Okay guys, day 7, I just got back from the store, getting the food that I'm going to be eating for the next week. I have amazing news, I just did my measurements, and this is what it was. In one week, this one week, week one, I have lost 19 pounds. I have gone from 261 pounds to 242 pounds, and I have lost about two and three quarters inches, or sorry, I've lost two and a quarter inch off of my waistline. That is insane. I did the math just so you guys can get a better understanding though of just how extreme I've been doing this because keep in mind, I have not only been doing this diet, but also exercise and quite a bit of it. Now it's been lighter exercise, low, low um, intensity, but I've still been doing quite a bit. I have burned um, and I have burned, okay, so accounting for water weight, uh, a water weight of about five pounds, that would put me anywhere from uh, the weekly caloric deficit of 49,000 calories to 66,500 calories, anywhere between those ranges. And that would mean that my uh, daily caloric deficit was anywhere from 7,000 to 9,500 calories per day to lose that much weight. Now, something I want to say, though, is this is extreme. I mean extreme. It is very difficult, and I do not recommend anyone who is not in, who isn't used to exercise or dieting or this sort of thing do this. I had three nosebleeds during this diet. It was very hard on my body to get through it. To be, I, today, I look super energetic because I had a pickled egg to reward myself, but I have like no energy. I can barely stand bending over to pick things up and coming back up. It feels like, it feels like I'm just like all the energy is being sapped from my body. I have to, to do what I did is not easy. But like I said, I needed to do something extreme 
for you guys, because I believe that you guys can stick to a diet. If I can do this, you guys can do your diets. You guys can do your exercises. I believe in you, and this is insane.